Hey guys, how's it going? Shane from That Student Life Australia. And I know today my voice is a little bit weird. I've had something going on. We're gonna keep making videos anyway. So as you guys would know, I write my goals down and I put them up on my wall next to my bed so that I can always see them. Now, two of my goals have hit their time limit. One was achieved. The other one was very closely achieved, but it wasn't. So I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna take them down, go through them, Put some new ones up. Let's go. Okay, so let's go and see what I wrote, my goals that I had for this half of the year. Now, I started in about January with these ones, put them up, so you know, the time's expired, so it's time to check yourself, figure out how well you did, and get ready to do better. So, this one here, 1,000 subscribers by June 2nd. Now, it wasn't quite June 2nd, it was a little bit late, but we well and truly hit it, so I'm gonna call that a success. So that one's done, all good. Now, the next one was high distinction average in semester one. Now, a lot of my stuff was high distinction, um, but I don't know, I think overall I ended up with a distinction. So, you know, a little bit short of that. That's fine, that's got me fired up to do better next semester. Um, but yeah, I know how university works now, so hopefully we'll be able to bring that one back up. But anyway, win some, lose some, that's fine. I really like writing my goals up on my wall, putting them somewhere I can see them. It doesn't have to be above your bed, but they're above mine. I really think that, you know, in that video, I put back a while where I said write down your ATAR goal. Me, I have an ATAR goal here. It really helped, like I mean, just kept me focused. It just reminded me every single day, you know, what I was trying to achieve, where I was going, and you know, it gave me something to strive for. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so I've just written up a new goal to go back on the wall because you know, I don't really want to take one down, just keep them down. May as well take one down, put another one up, and keep moving forward. So, what have I got? Um, this one really scares me. It is 10,000 subscribers by June 2nd, 2017, which is just under a year away, like a couple of days under a year away. Okay, so this one scares me because 10,000 is a big number. It's uh, 10 times 1,000, and it took us like quite a while to get to 1,000. So, you know, hopefully it can be... A um, it can be doable, but I don't know, I really love YouTube and like I really love making the videos and, and you know, progressing with that and like, you know, the game of subscribers or whatever, you know, that's just how I see it. I, I really just like checking and seeing an increase or a decrease or whatever. It just, it's all fun to me. So, I really enjoy kind of helping people out as well. So, you know, why not shoot for something really high? I mean, if your goals don't scare you, they're not big enough, apparently. Some Instagram quote once told me, so, you know, believe everything you hear on the internet. <laughs> But let's get on to the second goal. Okay, so surprise, surprise. Uh, the second goal is HD average semester two, 2016. Now, you know, I could have kept that one up there, but I wanted to be specific to semester two. I believe that at least for once in my entire university life there will be a semester where I get a HD average or HDs in like you know three or four of my subjects overall. Um, it's just something I really want to do. Okay so my final goal for this half of the year will be to do $1,000 revenue total um, on my new website that I'm about to launch before January 1st, 2017. Now, um, I don't know if you know, but you saw in the first half of the video that I'm about to launch a website. It's gonna be selling some pretty awesome study timetables that I built myself. It took me a while, but I always thought that, hey, there were no really great study timetables out there when I was back at high school or even now. So, hey, build myself one, build you guys one, you know, try and make some money because I'm poor, you know, I'm a uni student, so why not? And I'm also doing online tutoring for HSC specific study skills or, you know, anyone else who needs help, but just getting you, yourself, your schedule, your life ready to kill at school. So, I mean, that's what I'm trying to do. Alright guys, that pretty much sums up this video. I just wanted to evaluate the goals, success or failure, whatever, and put some new ones up to keep me going, keep me moving forward. I highly suggest 
that you, if you haven't done this sort of thing and you think it'd be valuable for you, get onto it, think about things you want to achieve, think about the exact date you want to achieve them by because that will keep you moving and chuck them up, put them somewhere you can see them. I definitely think that it's helped me in the past, so, you know, get going. Now, another thing I want to talk about is, you know, one of those goals I succeeded in, one of those goals I didn't succeed quite as well in. But that's fine because I enjoyed the process. I enjoyed the journey. I mean, school, I like school, I like university, so HD or not, close or not, was not a waste of time for me. I enjoyed the last six months of my life. YouTube, a thousand subscribers, yes, we did get there, but if we hadn't got there, I enjoyed every single bit of filming, editing, and uploading, and responding to comments, and helping people, and you know, just the whole thing of YouTube, I enjoyed it all. So regardless of any end result, I'm happy. And I think it's good to, yes, chase end goals, and to chase, you know, numbers, or, you know, achievements, and pieces of paper, and stuff like that, that's cool, but I think if you can do that while enjoying the process, you're gonna win. So, you'll win some, you'll lose some, but most importantly, enjoy the process. See you later, guys.